Hello everyone, I am back with another project that harnesses the power of OpenAI. It's called Phonix and it uses Whisper, a speech recognition neural network that turns audio into text. We will be using Phonix to create captions for videos. Why even bother with captions, you may ask? Well, captions are not just for the hearing impaired. Captions make your content more engaging by boosting your audience's focus, attention, and comprehension. They also allow them to watch your video without sound. The first step is to install Phonix and its dependencies. Find the installation instructions in the readme of the Phonix GitHub repo. Now, let's try Phonix. The first thing to choose is the video you want to caption. Next, fill in your OpenAI API key. It will be picked up automatically if you have set the appropriate environment variable. Then you can set a prompt to help the AI generate the captions. This is optional but makes a big difference, especially if you're using technical terms, acronyms or names specific to a certain domain. Then you select the captions format. I usually go for SRT. The output file will be saved by default in the same directory as the video you want to caption. Next, you can choose whether to transcribe or even translate a video. Transcribing works for many languages. On the other hand, translating is only available towards English. Finally, if you're transcribing, you can choose the language of the input video. On the technical side, Phonix first extracts the audio from the video, then downsamples it in case it is over 25 megabytes, and finally sends it to OpenAI's API. The API returns the captions in the specified format and Phonix saves them to a file. Compared to other solutions, such as YouTube's and LinkedIn's automatic captioning, I find Whisper to be more accurate when it comes to jargon and technical terms. The captions you see in this video were generated by Phonix. Pretty much on point, right? Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you have used OpenAI for any other projects, I would love to hear about them. Until next time, take care.